dead right if they hello friends it is sam a long time no see it's probably been like a month since i uploaded a video uh, i think my last video was my moving vlog so today you're finally gonna get the apartment tour vlog um i've been pretty busy not working because i don't have a job yet <laughs> so if you know anyone in new york that is looking for someone with marketing slash event coordination experience i'm their girl or someone is looking to hire like a server or honestly a bartender because you can make hella tips with that let me know hook me up um i will work hard but yeah my bank account is steadily dwindling so you know help your girl if you know anyone that's hiring or you know my venmo is um sam se and my paypal email is sam se at gmail.com so you know just if you're feeling generous all right just a few things before i get into the tour um just kind of about the apartment in general and like how much rent is and stuff if you don't care about this you can just go ahead and skip to the tour part um but i thought it'd be useful to know because i know it like when i was researching apartments in new york um i thought it was helpful when people would actually say how much their rent was and stuff so i live in brooklyn the neighborhood i live in is bushwick um i personally really like it i live close to the train so i can like get on the subway really easily um there's a ton of really good food and bars around here there's a lot of good um vegan places which is great for me obviously but you know if you're not vegan there's non-vegan places as well so i live in a two bedroom two bath apartment and my rent is fifteen hundred dollars a month and that includes utilities um which i think was super nice i am subleasing so i am only living in this apartment from june which was last month until october the other person pays fifteen hundred a month as well so all together for this two bedroom two bath it is three thousand a month um but the good things are it this building does have an elevator which is super nice um especially because we're on the top floor the sixth floor so if it was just a walk up, um, I probably would have cried and hired someone to move my stuff up here. So elevator super nice. And then also, as I will show you guys in a minute, there's an in-unit washer dryer, which is like super rare uh, in New York. Like you're lucky if you have uh, a washer dryer, like laundry area in your building at all. So that is super convenient, super lovely. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have about my apartment right now. So let's just get into the tour. All right, so starting off with the stunning front door, um, you walk in and then there's just like this little well, walkway area. Obviously we have a nice rug. There's some shoes going on there. Here is the beautiful and stunning in-unit washer dryer. We love that. This is literally like one of the main reasons I moved into this apartment. Um, so we love that. We stand her, that's an umbrella. This is just like a little coat closet. I don't know, there's, wow, coats in there, surprising. Uh, my reusable bags because you know a bitch is all about being environmentally friendly um there's like a vacuum in there some cat litter because i have a kitty you'll probably see her at some point so then from this way you walk into the living room and honestly i love the exposed brick when i have been thinking about my dream apartment i always imagined it having exposed brick so i love that we have an exposed brick moment in the living room so here is the living area um all of this furniture in the living area was here when i moved in because i was subleasing so it was already kind of all set up like this we do have two fans going because this apartment does not have central air i do have an in uh, i do have like a window um ac unit in my room which you will see when i get there but yeah, um, a lot of apartments don't have central air unless they're like new or have been newly renovated. So it does get a bit warm in this living area, um, especially in the summer, but you know what? We're making it through, it's fine. So yeah, um, love a good couch moment. That couch is super comfortable. That is a pile of laundry um, from my roommate because he's been like not here for over a week. I don't really know when he's coming back. So I've just been like alone, um, it's fine. But yeah, we got this good wooden table. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. We have this good wooden table, um, a community chapstick, I don't really know. Um, and then a nice TV, um, a box because, oh, here she is, hi Gaia. Gaia likes to play in the box, as does every cat. Her little cat tree I got with a little scratch post, but as you can see, she kind of, um, prefers to scratch those chairs so that's nice and then i put up a blackout curtain with a really efficient um very classy sophisticated clothespins um that's what those are because i didn't have another bar to put it up and the blackout curtain helps keep it cooler because it keeps the sun out so that's that um a good cactus picture i love cacti um so here from the living room 
we have the little kitchen area which as you can see all of the appliances are like super nice which i like um we have like a gas stove and oven which sometimes i struggle to get the oven going but it's fine a dishwasher which i love because i have lived in places that like don't have dishwashers and you kind of don't realize how much of a luxury it is until you have to like wash dishes every single time that you want to make something so shout out to the dishwasher and then as you can see this fridge and freezer is very large so that's good because um i like cooking let's see we have this nice little counter area with these stools that are really beat up um that was my breakfast from this morning just kidding um and then if you come around here it actually came with like a wine cooler um which is so like random but really cool so shout out to that so now from the kitchen you walk into like the bedroom areas so that side is uh not my side that's my roommate's room and his bathroom um this like random little nightstand that the girl i was subleasing from left for me there's like a bunch of vegan cookbooks on there so we love that this is my bathroom that was another reason that i really wanted to move into this apartment because i have my own bathroom i mean obviously um i am not a stranger to sharing a bathroom with people like i did that throughout college but the bathroom is like my sacred space like having my own bathroom is so nice so i really love that let's turn it on oh one light bulb is broken so we're getting that fixed so i'm gonna have to turn the fan on which is kind of loud um but you know so you can see the lights the shower is super large i don't know why it's so big i mean obviously i'm not complaining but yeah it's a very nice shower very large a random stool which you can um you know use as like a what are those called a squatty potty if you want um all of my bathroom like storage is under here um i did have some like cabinet space obviously and then there's hi there's um, a medicine cabinet here but you know as a female, I have a lot of um, bathroom supplies. So there's like toilet paper and like cleaning stuff back there. And then this is like washcloths, I don't know, face masks, hair dryer, straightener, all that good stuff. And I still have more shit on the back of the toilet. So I just have so much stuff. And then um, I have this cat calendar here because I'll write what I need to do on it. So then when I'm sitting on the toilet, sitting on the toilet. I can like <laughs> see what I need to do. And then I just have towels here, obviously, because you know, those are necessary. So so going out of the bathroom, um, this is my room right here. Oh, one thing I do want to mention is the doors into the bedrooms and bathrooms are both pocket doors, which I really like because then that allows for a lot more space. Um, like, you know, if you were to open, have to open a door, that would obviously kind of take up space. But um, so, Entering my room, you are greeted by a lovely rainbow marijuana flag. So that is just super fun and fresh. Um, here is like a quick little overview. My bed is super high. I ordered a bed frame from Home Depot, I'm pretty sure. It was super easy to assemble, which is good because I suck at assembling things. But I, again, have a lot of shit and I needed storage space. So there is like a bunch of stuff underneath the bed. Um, so that's why I needed it to be higher up. Uh, a lot of people I've seen just kind of have like their mattress on the floor, which honestly is a look. But like I said, I needed space. So my bed is quite high up, as you can see. So, oh my gosh, she's on crack hi baby so right here when you first walk in um there's like a little dresser right here oh my laptop we love that grocery list um this is just like pens and markers like office supplies essentially um so i can write like on my calendar this is my second calendar pusheen we love her and my dry erase board this is where i write like things i need to buy or like things i need to do um stuff like that you know pin up all that good jazz my jewelry um this has like my underwear sports bras and like uh leggings and like sweatpants in it so yes i'll have another dresser which you'll see in a minute and then this is kind of just like I've had these for a while. I've had these since like freshman year of college and they're very helpful. They're like magnetized things and you can just stick them on the wall with command hooks so you don't have to worry about damaging the walls. But I don't know, I just have like gum in here, um, some Advil, an umbrella because you know it'll be raining sometimes, another little pushing, and then this hook. I'm pretty sure I got this from World Market. I really love this, this little Hamza. Um, and I just keep my keys and like my purse on it. And then um, fun wall decor. I got some good disposable pictures up there. Um, David Dobrik coming from my brand. Narwhal poster, which inspired my narwhal tattoo. Some Spider-Man comic books. This bookshelf that I bought off of um, Facebook Marketplace. And I'll hang like clothes on here sometimes if I need them to dry. A full-length mirror. 
I thought about putting it actually on the wall, but I kind of like having it leaned like this. Um, this is kind of like my little tote bag that I'll take to like the gym or if I'm like going to the park or if I just need something like bigger than a purse. Here's a fan because like I said, it's hot. We don't have central air. I do have my lovely window air conditioning unit over there. Um, but you know, it, never enough airflow. You know what I mean? So there's that. Um, this little ottoman thing. I think I got this from Target. I've also had this for a while. It's very helpful. Just like random stuff in there. Um, this cute bookshelf, which I also got from Home Depot. Just has like all my random stuff on it. Unicorn light, Polaroid, journals, um, pusheen, just like random decor. Um, this is a fun basket of things that are decriminalized in New York, so it's fine. Here is a lot of my makeup. This is all like my makeup palettes and just kind of random extra things because I have a shit ton of makeup. This is where I have all my makeup because there was no room for it in the bathroom as you saw earlier. So I do my makeup in here. This mirror is honestly really good. Um, the girl I subleased from also left this for me. So that was very nice. It's a really good mirror. So thank you for that. Can you stop biting me please? Uh, in this corner, we have my shrine to Puff, my son. Um, he is in here. He recently passed a couple months ago. It was his time. I think he was like 14. Rest in peace. Um, so this is, he's still with me here, obviously. And then just a basket of toys for Gaia, a friggin' bed that she never sleeps in because she likes to sleep with me, which is fine. Yoga mat, um, my crystals. It's kind of like my hippie corner because I got my yoga mat. And then like, um, these are all my crystals and I have like an incense thing here, just like random jewelry. And then in here, in this dresser, I have like uh, tops and skirts. And then under my bed, I have like t-shirts and jeans and shorts because I have so many freaking clothes and clearly did not have enough space to put them all. So, yes, um, I really like this. This is like my Polaroid wall. Um, I have so many Polaroids, but these are just the ones that I decided to put up. They're just so aesthetically pleasing, you know what I mean? Here is the litter box because, you know, guy has to poop and stuff, so I got a covered one. So it's not as like offensive when like people come over and then it's just like shit in a box. Um, so that's that and it's on top of a really cute unicorn mat trash can. Um, here is the beautiful view I have. Yes, there are more clothespins. Um, don't judge me. <laughs> wow, stunning. Hello, Bushwick. Am I right, ladies? They're doing construction, like, literally right there. So I love waking up to the soothing sounds of construction in the mornings. Um, but thankfully, they don't work on weekends. So you know what? It's fine. They're getting their, their bread. Here's a tapestry. This is, like, probably my favorite tapestry I own. I've had this for so many years. I think I got it at, like, a flea market or something. Um, more stuffed animals because I am a child. Another little rug. Guy's food and water. My salt lamp. We need those good vibes. I forget where this dish is from. I really like it. I want to say Marshall's, but I'm not 100% sure. But I just have like chapstick in it. Um, a spray bottle of water for when Guy is being bad. <laughs> Some earphones. And then these two books I'm reading right now. Queenie and... <laughs> search and en engine optimization handbook for beginners so i love being educated and then here is my closet um hello again ma'am uh, again it's like the sliding door thing there's just shoes and like clothes in here um also like some more storage i have like my costume slash rave basket of clothes um i think there's just like random pillows in there and then I don't think you guys actually care about this, but this is like guys, extra stuff, extra bags, my dirty clothes, um, like random binders and like notebooks and stuff. So that's that. Oh, and okay. Um, can you not go in my dirty clothes? It's kind of gross. But yeah, different perspective of my room. Wow. Oh my gosh, we stand. Uh huh. Um, and then, yeah, just back out here, you know, if you want to get the other perspective, this is the living area again. And yeah, that's, um, that is my apartment. So, I don't know how many square feet this is, um, because I'm not good with numbers or, like, dimensions or perception. But yeah, this is my room. I really like living here. Like I said, the elevator and the in unit washer dryer is like amazing. All the appliances are really great. The wine cooler was like an added bonus. I didn't know that was a thing until I moved in. Um, love having my own bathroom. The water gets hot, which is good because um, I don't really care so much about water pressure, but like if the water doesn't get hot, I'm not a fan. So yeah, um, all my neighbors are really chill. Everything's been really great. Honestly, I really like living here. So yeah, I know I haven't been posting as much. Like I said, um, I've been kind of busy trying to find a job and just like meeting people and like hanging out with people and stuff. Um, but I really do want to get back on it because I miss making videos. So I'm going to make time and start posting regularly again. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video for now. Um, yeah, love my apartment. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.